Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. And so today we're gonna to be talking about cleaning your AC coils. So here's the tip that we have. It's only take you two minutes, two minutes to actually watch this, about 20 minutes to actually do it. So before you get up on the roof, what I would suggest is go ahead and turn the power off to your air conditioners. It makes absolutely no sense for us to get up there on top of the roof, start messing around with stuff and figure it out there's still stuff up there that we don't wanna to touch. You can get up on your roof, so that means you gotta go out and get you a ladder, get you an A-frame ladder and get up on that roof. Make sure it's dry. So you're gonna get up there, you're gonna take the shroud off, and that will expose on the back side of the air conditioner your condenser coils. Now what we wanna do there is we wanna carefully clean out all the dirt that is there. So I'm gonna recommend, uh, of course, a coil cleaner that gives you, provides you with a soft bristle brush. It's soft and it's bristly. It's a soft bristly brush. You're gonna take that bristly brush off, you're going to carefully clean out your coils before you spray the foam. Now typically it's just like any other thing, if your table is dirty, you're gonna wipe it down dry before you go ahead and spray any type of liquid on there, okay? You can get this on Amazon or at your local Walmart, okay? It's over there by the air conditioning filters. All right, so you're gonna clean the backside with this. Now, typically if you have a home, sticks and bricks, you'd go over there and you'd finish it off by taking your water hose and you'd spray that condenser coil down. I wouldn't recommend doing that simply because you're trying to get a water hose up on the roof. But not only that, you may have a hole going down into your RV and chances are your OnePlus isn't gonna be too happy with you should you start spraying water down there. So go ahead and just get you a small bottle of water, spray bottle of water. And what you can do is after the foam has done its duty, you'll see that the foam begins to disappear. Go ahead and rinse it off with water. Go to the front where you have your evaporator coils. And again, there's gonna be an insulated shroud. You'll take that off. Now with that one, I'm gonna recommend a different type of evaporator coil cleaner. Now this one's called New Calgon is the name, N-U-C-A-L-G-O-N. Look, it's right here, N-U-C-A-L-G-O-N. Let's see if you can do that. Now this one over here, this is called an evap foam, no rinse. Guys, you don't even have to rinse it. Don't have time to actually go through all the reasons why you don't, but on this one, we're still gonna do the same thing. You're gonna grab that same cap and you wanna get off all that gunk that you can. After you do that, then you're gonna come back with this spray here and go ahead and spray that down. All right, once the foam is gone from there, just simply put the shroud back on. Go ahead and put your outer shroud back on, bolt that up. Now it's time to go in and clean out your filters now, how many of you have actually cleaned out your filters, lightly washed it with some water and it begins to stretch? Well, if you go to the same Walmart, when you're getting this over here, you can get this for 99 cents. Now, if you look at this, of course, it's way bigger than what we would actually use in our air conditioning systems. But guys, I can actually do about six filters with this. Take out the old one, lay it on. That's my template. Now cut around and I've got me a brand new filter. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend not doubling it up, not getting thicker filters. All right, these are here just to get the last little bit of stuff out of the air. Now, if you're worried about filtering your air through your air conditioner, please buy you a separate filtration system. Don't force your AC to be your air filtration system. It's not designed for that. And that's your tech tip. If you wanna be able to fix the majority of the problems on your rig, or let's say you wanna open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs and get started today. Well, here we go. Son of a what? You can get it over at Walmart next to the refrigerator air conditioning section. Next to the air conditioning section. <laughs> Son of a. For many of us, summer has already began begun summer is here yeah. dang it next to the air conditioning sec like you, you know over where they sell the ac stuff this is where you can get it okay oh. that's right your ac has coils two of them to be exact and you're going to clean them we're not talking about you know black tanks but after the foam has done its duty you just zip it right now even your drawing is too loud i can hear the the lead scraping against the paper hi everybody Today I'm gonna to talk to you about treating your kids right. Stop it. Now I wouldn't recommend get you one of those telescoping ladders if you actually like to eat for a living. Kind of stepping back, so. All right, if you can get that soft bristle brush, bristle brush, if you can get that soft bristle. <laughs> All right, 
So I'm gonna talk to you about this brush here. Put your hand in there, and what you're gonna do is carefully, whoa, 